hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel a lot has happened uh, within the past 48 hours that has brought a lot of brainstorming accusing fingers groups that was never existing before came up uh, they, there was so much counter accusation ipub are rising up to find out those who are impersonating their name uh, you know uh, committing atrocities in their name claiming to be ipob and all that but right now uh, it, it, they're no more letting it low a lot of persons have said to involve themselves and it's getting messier i don't know how south is will come out of this but obviously everybody's now rising up to the occasion no longer are they folding their arms and watching things unfold before going to the news proper to find out what stakeholders are telling the southern governors southeastern governors to do and they're giving them an ultimatum to get this done like it subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you say bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube what uh the well, the concerned Igbo stakeholders forum have given Southeast governors a 48 hours ultimatum to make their position known on the frequent sit at home exercise in the region. They urge the governors to, within the period, reach out to the indigenous people of Biafra (IPOB), other pro Biafran groups, and youth organizations in the zone to halt this part of carnage and economic losses the group also dis decried the group also decried the di disruption of people's economic activities work and neco and neco examinations of students in the past weeks in a press conference in enugu on tuesday the leader of the group chukwemeka okenwa lamented that the governors had not spoken as a body since the monday 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 to Monday sit at home began. Flanked by Nina Anose Secretary, Chigoze Nwabuku Abia, uh, while Wilfred Okeke Anambra, Prince Uzoma Ani Enugu, Chima Vincent Ebony, and Chidema Ebemere Imo. Okewa noted that the situation was suggestive of a leadership gap in the region. He stated, that it was incumbent on the governors to demonstrate that there was no parallel government in the five states. And brother, it is even worrisome. Mm. We therefore call on the Southeast governors to convene an emergency meeting first within themselves, within, ne within the next 48 hours, and to follow it up with a multi task with a multi stakeholder consultative forum with the intent of generating actionable ideas that will doze the rising tensions dialogue and a possible impression on the federal government to consider amnesty for Mazin Namdekanu and other IPB members who are trapped in various cells across the country should be esteemed as an option the southeast governors must act fast to ensure that a region known for peace does not descend further into anarchy and economic sabotage Ndibo is known for business and, I, and our governors must ensure the environment is conducive for that to thrive. A lot is being said here. Uh, ultimatum, actionable actions, meetings upon meetings. The question is, what is on ground? What will change? After the meetings, is there any reasonable change being done? I will say this. You don't use what you should use as a last result for first result. If you use it, then if it doesn't work, you are going to regret it. When they started this issue of um, using muscle hand, okay, bringing in the military militarizing in the southeast, I, I raised an eyebrow. Eyebrow because I felt these are your people. Okay, yeah, federal might be a federation, very correct. But this is more regional than federal. Why not? These are like like Governor David Umahi will say. These are our children. These are our brothers, our our siblings, one way or the other. Why not call them into stakeholders meeting? You don't need to call them out and begin to say, uh, if you if you show yourself, I will report you to the federal government. Oh, this is one of them. Arrest them. Like what Matawali did then. When bandits were really disturbing, what he did was he identified with them. So, okay, no problem. I'll be paying you some sort of stipends and all that. But that's not even where I'm heading. 
All I'm saying, you know these guys. They are your brothers. They're not strangers. They're not strangers. They're your brothers. Bring them into the picture. Have a meeting, heart to heart meeting, off the record. The media does not even need to know about the meeting. Okay? Find out what they're yearning for. But obviously, I think they've not made, they, they, all their intentions have been, always been made public. They say, free their leader. Free mass in America has always been what they're asking for. But you all know, everybody in Nigeria knows that that is one thing that the federal government will not willingly make it happen. One, because they have the opinion that mass in America has caused a lot of carnages with his spoken words, with his um, um, media outreaches, and they feel that keeping him incarcerated, keeping him detained, will, you know, cop the so many, um, you know, words so many media out outreaches he does but has it really stopped it hasn't really people are still coming up saying things look at simon is still talking the dos chica dozem is still talking my powerful is still talking so i feel the case now for the eastern governors or eastern leaders to look into it and you know find a way around this practicably because the truth is if this thing continues and there's no way around it to degenerate but funnily enough the sit at home order has been debunked over and over again by the ipobs even their media publicity secretary Imam powerful had to reiterate again that those enforcing it they will personally fish them out they've started fishing them out already young guys the video i actually saw sorry due to the uh, the content of the video we may not be able to share it but the video i saw was few young boys carrying ammunition and they were saying oh, they're sorry. They're sorry, but why are you using the name of ESN and IPB for these candidates? They, they couldn't say anything really. Simply because uh, IPB have always been saying that, look, they should do this. They now capitalize on those words and begin to cause me on the name. And now everybody's now looking at that. This IPB, is POB, ESN. Whatever anybody says doesn't count because they say uh, they will come out and say they're ESN or they come out and say. So it's now a bit difficult to identify who is IPOB and who is ESN and who is impersonating them. But let's feel the pause of Nigerians because, of course, Nigerians are talking and this is getting really wonderful. Just very a quick one. This one here is saying, We the Igbos don't know what we are doing to ourselves. Who are the people dying? The Igbos. The Igbos are killing the Igbos. We are the one losing and the federal government sitting at home will not make the federal government to release our brother, Kano. Rather, let our governors, the traditional rulers and people that matter in the South is come together and speak with one voice. Then talk to the federal government. We, using our own hand to destroy what we have and yet we are complaining that South is underdeveloped. Now that's another one. If you look at it really, is it a, this is actually, look at those young boys the court. They're actually evils. They're not uh, Fulanese that people thought. They're actually evils. Doing it in the name of ESN. This is really this is hardening. Let's listen to that conversation. What's your take on this? I think at this junction, all hands should be on deck. How, what is the way forward before this totality?